What's going on, everybody? You know, I just realized the Kentucky Derby's this weekend. I, I live in Kentucky. I just didn't even know. I thought for some reason it was, uh, I don't know why. I know the card show's next weekend. Just time is flying, to be honest. And people were talking about the Derby, and I'm like, wow. Didn't even realize it. But today we're going to do a video a little bit different here. It's going to be on Panini's Miscut. And it's based on the 2021 um, NBA Hoops Slam cards. But it's only the green and purple um explosions and i'll show you a picture here in a second this was brought to my attention by somebody and then i looked into it and they went in depth onto it and i'll, I'll explain that there in a second but i what what i'm looking for in the comments um this time here is that if a card has a known defect into it and it was produced that way how would you expect a grading company to handle that um do you think that they should just be able to eliminate that whole thing saying, hey, we know this is a known defect and, uh, you know, any points or whatever they do, take it off, should not be taken off on it? And then the second question is this. If Panini knew about this and say we well, are still doing waves of produced cards and they corrected it and uh, made, you know, the correct card the way it should be, should a grading company then dock that original card? Or should they have like a version A, version B of the card that goes in for grading? And, you know, they can mark on there version A, error, version B, you know, the correct, whatever it may be. Just so it's separated and then grade the card that was, uh, you know, miscut, error, whatever's wrong with it that way. And then the corrected version gets, you know, the full overhaul of the uh, grading system onto it so i'm curious what everybody's thoughts on this will be and you know i i'll tell you what mine are at the end as well but i'm just looking for some input back really onto it and you know i know a couple other people are too what, what the mass majority thinks should be done onto it so let me pull up the example here for everybody again this is this year's nba hoops there's you see the slam so on the left-hand side, you guys see what's highlighted in green. If you notice towards the bottom going up, there's a line going there. And depending on the player and which card it is, either the purple or green explosion, the line can either be on the left side or the right side. Now, this is messing with both centering and surface grade onto it. But from what I could tell and... Um, this other gentleman and some other people I showed this to, it's on every card out there. So what happened was, is you have to, you know, you build your printing plate according to specs of, you know, what the card's supposed to measure out at. And when you look at it, um, they did not measure the correct overlay to the card itself. So what they did, instead of fixing that piece up, they just matched it up, you know, off of the ends to make it look, you know, kind of crazy looking. And uh, they stuck it on there. Now, if you would send this card in to any grading company and they weren't aware that this is an overall flaw, I would expect you'd probably see sixes, sevens onto it offhand. And I'm just thinking of some of the Bowman stuff that I sent in years ago to Beckett and even stuff to PSA that came back with those grades because of those lines into it, especially the printer lines. I mean, I had a Luca come back, I think it was a six onto it. I figured they might only hammered it down to an eight, eight and a half years ago. But that this is what I'm talking about here. And I can tell you that, you know, and they're selling for big money. And I'll tell you now, PSA's already graded some of these as a 10. So I, I haven't seen any Becky yet. I guess they're probably still out to be graded in some of the other companies and stuff. But knowing what we spend on products, this should have been caught. I mean, it's flat out to me is is horrible, horrible thing. Horrible when you have to go through quality control and see this. Fix it, make it right. Um, they could even say, hey, mail us your cards, you know, in, and they'll give you the updated new version of it. Some people might call this the error card version, you know. I don't know. But... With this being said, like I said, when I was talking about the questions in the beginning of the video, 
How would you grade this, knowing that this is on every card? And like I said, it can either be on the left side or right side of the card. It's only from what we've seen, the purple and the green explosions. Um, and, you know, would you, if you were a, a grading company or even a grader and you knew all this stuff, you know, because it unbalances the centering on it left and right for sure. Then you got the line in it for surface. I mean, do you waiver all that and give it a 10 still? I mean, with the prices of cars nowadays, you really have to think into it, would you or not? The other thing is, okay, is if they would have corrected and you had two versions of this card and that grading company, would you have still given it a 10, you know, with the air, the line in it? And then when you start looking at the corrected version, you know, you'd have to cipher between them, I would say, on the label at least. And this would have to be done internally, would be my judgment onto the grading company, to where they labeled version A and version B with explanations onto it. Um, kind of crazy when you start seeing stuff like this popping up and, you know, it just makes you think because, I mean, like the LeBron and Kobe's are selling for crazy amounts of money, I mean... You guys can check it out on eBay and all that. But it was just something that was brought to my attention. I thought it would be really interesting to bring up for discussion on to it. Uh, to see, because there's a lot of people in here, whether you've been collecting for years or you just got back into it or you're just starting. What what's your thought process is on to something like this? Um, where would you go with it? You know, if you were a grading company or, or you know, you were one of the graders catching the stuff. And, you know... Uh, pretty much what I'm just looking at, some input on to it and what everybody really thinks on to it. But like I said, this, this was an overall mistake by Panini. Um, and, you know, should have been caught originally on to it. But that's pretty much it for today, everybody. It was just a quick short video on this. Uh, losing my train of thought here because I keep hearing my phone vibrate from messages coming across. And I do apologize for that. But with that being said, uh, don't forget, I did open the other box of Bowman up. I'll post that video on Saturday. As you can see to the left here, right in here, that's all the stuff that's going to go in the store from Bowman. I don't know if I'll start it tonight, but it'll be in there by Saturday, like my normal shift and restock days. So if you guys are interested, that stuff will be in there. I'm going to flip this over. This came in the mail. A little Brady PSA 10 action that uh, somebody bought me a spot in a Raz and I won, which I appreciate it. Uh, that's really about it. Still waiting on PSA and everything, guys. Uh, yeah, I've been searching. I've been hitting a lot of stuff up with people hitting me with scammer stuff. So a lot of different videos will be coming out over the course of this next week. And no, I'm not going to Derby, so I will be popping videos and working all weekend long up here. I got a show next weekend. If you're in Louisville, make sure you come check me out. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button because there's all kind of different content uh, that I publish, whether it's scamming videos, new the hobby videos, box openings, breaks, whatever it may be. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're trying to get it up there to uh, 4,000 here. And with that, it'll be a nice giveaway. It'll be given out to a few spots. And if you don't, if you're already subscribed, I mean, um, hey, hit your friends, hit your kids wife girlfriend boyfriend whatever it may be tell people subscribe subscribe i want to get up there onto this because i've been itching to do this four thousand uh subscriber giveaway now for i don't know what about two months now maybe but other than that everybody take care have a good weekend i'll catch you guys next video